Okay, kit builders of the world, um, back to the MS660 uh, kit build. <clears throat> uh, since we were last together, I took some uh, header tape and uh, made a heat shield. I took some Durco and rubbed it on the uh, base of the kit and then uh, I applied my gasket. I believe I went over why on that earlier. Um, and uh, that is not the gasket. Um, this is the gasket that came with the kit. There's nothing wrong with it, absolutely. Uh, this is an older gasket, so um, for other reasons, I'm going to use this, this gasket. N that is the one to use. Uh, this one okay so um, the first thing we got to do uh, oh and also put this grommet in place on the kit all right so uh, that's all I've done um, so so the step now is uh, I've taken the uh, Use your words, Bedford. Uh, bearing, and uh, slipped it in here, and I used some um, grease uh, for the uh, string trimmer head, gear uh, gear grease, and you know rubbed it on it and, and stuck it in there. So. So now what we need to do is we need to put the piston in, and uh, I've already put the, got the rings on. And I have this uh, pretty piece of tape on there, and that is to keep me from screwing up. Um, now, what we got to do is you see this is up higher here and so this restricts your access so what I want to do is I'm going to put my circlip in here first so that when it's mounted the right way see I've got the arrow pointing back back here and also I checked and um, the pins are behind the arrow and and you want to just kind of double check that while you're at it um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna insert the pin in here the circlip in here first so that when I push so when I push this through it stops and then I can insert the second circle up to hold it in place okay so that's the plan so what we'll do if you can see and for the price of admission you need to see this it will set there for now um, so I have a video already of the 660 engine uh, completion on YouTube. Um, it's also got the pressure test. Now um, I did everything by hand there and on this we're going to use this um, like uh, totally handy tool. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that um, Chainsaw Conservation <clears throat> donated this, and uh, I'll put a link um, to a store uh, below in the uh, the more uh, uh, place above the comments. And um, so I'm gonna use this to insert the the circle up. And uh, the way you do that is you see this flat piece here 
and there is a, a screw in there and that uh, rides along the top of the flat piece so that it's, you know that you've got it inserted correctly. There's a flat side here. I'm only use this one time, so I'm a little clumsy with it. Um, that's how you insert it. And put your pin on top, slide it in. Okay. Once you got it slid on, take it off and you see it's gone, like magic. Take your flat side, stick it in here. Now I want to tell you honestly, doing this and it not being mounted is kind of, kind of hard. So if I screw it up, you can just laugh at me. Oh, it worked. And if you remember, um, went right in there, right in the right depth and everything. Um, and, and, and remember, when you put your clip in, your, the opening of the clip The opening can either be straight up or straight down. You don't want it to the side, okay? All right, so now reload our little handy dandy tool. Now folks, if you don't have this, remember I didn't leave you out in the cold. There is a video showing you how to do this without this, this tool. So do not be disappointed in me. I'm not a sellout. I just love assembling this stuff and that just makes it easy and cool and fun. Okay, so now I can take the tape off of here because I can't I can't mess anything up. All right, and um, we're gonna take our, our wrist pin. And we're going to line this up. I'm going to push the wrist pin all the way in and so we've got the clip in there so it's not going to come through and we don't want to put too much on those bearings down here so we're going to we're going to load that up. Okay, we've already got our circlip in there. 
So we'll Bummer, folks. There she went. I just didn't push hard enough. That's so much simpler than the other way. Okay, so we now have the piston mounted. I'm going to take some oil. Load that up. Now we want to make sure that the the uh, I should have done this already. Oh, crap. I forgot my squeezer. So I'm going to start all over. Okay, put the exhaust side to the back. I must have. I did. You got to hold on tight. the second one passes.
Okay, we got the intake side here, exhaust side here. So that's the way we want it. Then screw that up. And now we gotta do set it down. Because we've already prepared the base. And when you put the put it together at this point, you don't have. <clears throat> I mean, you've got access to um, all four holes. You know, if you wait and you do your sides and it's harder to get to it. But not this way. And I've already got it lathered up real good with Loctite. I did that last night. Tight. I would not want to have to have done that with a I can see I've got those started. Okay, yay. And I've got them started, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drill them down in some. So I don't have to do that all the way by hand.
do it diagonally. And when you're stretched up on your tippy toes, it's just right. Okay, we have got the cylinder assembled. <laughs> 